All right, let's break down your ultimate lineup. And you mentioned your point guard, Ricky Rubio. You decided to go with a little bit cheaper of an option. I went with John Wall. I went ahead and, and threw out some cash uh, in terms of my point guard. Where'd you go with point guard? Uh, well, Nick mentioned his name, and it is March Madness. So I'm going to hope that Kemba Walker can uh, do some things that he did back at UConn and continue doing with the Charlotte Hornets. I like Kemba Walker tonight in the matchup against Indiana. How are you feeling about those picks? No, I, I love both those guys. Like I said, I, I think John Wall has elevated himself to being a top two or three point guard every single night on DraftKings. And, and Kemba's you know, kind of been the same way for a lot of the season. He, he's had a little bit more ups and downs uh, than John, John Wall has. But you, know, you look at these last couple of games for Walker, back-to-back double-digit assists. He's been up over 43 fantasy points in each of the last two. Uh, and Charlotte, too, you know, as we kind of continue this theme of uh, of the playoff race, Charlotte's still hanging in there. I mean, they've, they've been a playoff team for most of the season. Obviously, they, they've slumped over the last month or so, but I think Kemba Walker's going to do all he can to get Charlotte back into that mix. All right, uh, who do you have for shooting guard? Who's your ultimate lineup shooting guard? Well, sticking with Charlotte, I'm going to go with Jeremy Lamb. Um, this is a, an injury replacement situation. He got the start on Monday against Chicago, played 31 minutes, took 17 shots, hit three threes, and wound up with 36 DraftKings points. So Nick Batum dealing with a migraine headache. That's why Jeremy Lamb started on Monday. Batum did not travel with the team uh, for Wednesday's game. They're leaving the door open. You know, there's a chance that he might take a separate flight today if he feels better and, and get to the game. But, you know, at this point, it, it doesn't seem like that's all that likely. And even if he does play, you know, he probably won't be 100%. So I'm banking on Nick Batum missing a second straight game and taking advantage of that uh, to get Jeremy Lamb in my lineup. Yeah, same reasons there. I, go, I went with Lamb as well. CJ McCollum, keeping with my March Madness theme, is also my shooting guard. Who do you have real quick? Yeah, I went with Deion Waiters. Oh, uh, nice call. I, I feel like that'll that'll be a, a good All pick right. for me. All right, how about small forward? I decided to go with Hayward just because of them jockeying for position there. Where Another you March Madness pick. <laughs> no. For me? No, for me. I, I went Hayward also. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, and, and you, where are you going for a small forward, Nick? I'm going Kawhi Leonard, not a guy who's really made Ooh. much of a name for himself in the NCAA tournament. Um, but, you know, saving up money in the backcourt, I was able to grab Leonard at 9,800. Nice. Nice call there. Uh, certainly can't go wrong. He's going to be uh, leading the way, you figure, for the San Antonio Spurs at, at small forward. As far as power forward, uh, who do you have there? I'm going back to Charlotte. Uh, I'm going with Marvin Williams. He's been excellent uh, of late. Frank Kaminsky had missed a few games uh, with an injury, and, and they're still banged up a little bit in that front court. Uh, and a little bit just lacking depth, you know, after dealing a couple of centers prior to the trade deadline. And that's resulted in Marvin Williams playing a ton uh, as a small ball four. He's virtually locked into 35 plus minutes uh, every single night. And he's been up over 40 fantasy points in each of his last four at 47 the other night against Chicago, had 50 over the weekend against New Orleans. Um, you know, not a guy you're necessarily looking to to carry your lineup by any means. You know, he's not an explosive scorer, but he's just playing enough minutes and he's, he's getting enough usage offensively that he's been a really, really useful option, you know, at that 6,500 price tag. Right. I like your pick there at center with DeAndre Jordan as we take a look at your ultimate lineup. I went ahead and went with Rudy Gobert because he has been an absolute monster on the boards and picking up some, some nice fantasy points as the past, past couple of games. Wow, all Kings in this have one. Gone through, so but back yeah. up your words there as far as the Kings and the, the Suns there. I like B Buddy Heald. He's my utility player there. And I also had Jeremy Lamb as my third guard. So we're on the same uh, wavelength there. And then I went with Ryan Anderson as my uh, third forward. So uh, following your Lakers Rockets theme there. Plus they're all pretty good value priced. So uh, yeah. You have to, if you're going to spend some of these uh, dollars on some of the big names there on, on, in your starting lineup, then uh, you got to fill it in with some other uh, cheaper players. Yeah, but, I feel like Patty Mills could help me out a little bit. Although yeah. he's been inconsistent, I feel like when the Spurs have a good night, uh, they can uh, get some fantasy production from Patty. All right, Nick, really appreciate you joining us today, and we'll uh, we'll check in and let you know how our fantasy lineups did. All right, sounds good, guys. Thanks for having me. Thank All right, you. thank you, Nick. Stay warm.